Never Stop Learning, week 232. We're going to take a quick look at Library Link Smart Objects in Adobe Photoshop CC 2015. All right, so the first thing you want to do is go into the window menu, scroll down, find libraries, click on it to bring up the libraries panel. Over here on the right, notice I have a thumbnail here of my library linked asset. Now, when I double click on it, Photoshop's going to tell me that I actually can't edit this in Photoshop and it's going to tell me how to bring it into the document. So let's do that next. What you want to do is click and drag on the thumbnail and then just release. Now it's going to give you an option to make some transformations here. I'm going to hit return on my keyboard or enter on a PC. And now I have this new artwork into my document. If you take a look over here in the layers panel, right here, it's like a smart object, but it has this little cloud thumbnail there. That lets me know that it's linked to my libraries. And if I make any changes to the original asset, it'll be updated in this document as well. Now, another way to bring in this artwork is you could hold down the alt or option key, click and drag, and then release. Again, it's going to give you the options to make some transformations. I'm going to accept those changes. Now back over here in the layers panel, it brought it in as an embedded smart object. So it lives inside this document and it'll work like a regular smart object. But if I make some changes to the linked asset, uh, it's not going to be updated. All right. So we'll see how that works in a bit. Now, if you want to make some changes to your library link smart object, what you want to do is go into the original application that your artwork was uh, created in. So to find that out, just come back into the libraries panel. Notice I'm in this uh, icon mode right now. Well, if I switch over to this list mode, it's letting me know that the artwork was created in Adobe Illustrator. So let's switch over to Adobe Illustrator. All right, here I have the libraries panel and you want to double click on the actual thumbnail itself. All right. Over here at the top, it says artwork and a whole series of numbers here. That's how I know that I'm editing the actual linked asset. All right, so I'm going to select my artwork, hit the A key to grab the direct selection tool, and then just start making a bunch of changes to this artwork. Now, I'm just going to run through these really quickly. If uh, you'd like to see a video of me doing this in a little bit more detail and a lot slower, uh, just let me know and I'll go ahead and uh, make one up. Just um, if like, I get two or three requests, I'll go ahead and take care of that. All right, so I'm going to switch over to gray and make a final change. All right, that looks pretty good. So this looks vastly different from what we started off with, right? So to save this off, I'm just going to close the document, make sure I choose the option to save, and it's going to be updated over here in my libraries panel. All right, let's switch back over to Photoshop. As soon as I do that, notice my artwork is updated. And over here in the libraries panel, that thumbnail is updated as well. Now, if you don't see your artwork update, take a look over here in the layers panel. Instead of this cloud, you might see a little yellow warning sign. All right, so that means that your artwork has to be updated. The way you update it is just hit the M key on your keyboard. Notice over in the tools panel, it activated my marquee tool. Well, I'm gonna right click on my document and I'm gonna find this option here. Update all modified content. When I click on that, I should take care of the problem for you right away. All right, now this guy over here wasn't updated. And the reason it wasn't updated was remember, back in the layers panel, this is an embedded smart object. So it still works like a smart object, but it has no link to my linked asset. All right, so this guy was updated because it was a library linked smart object. So there you have it, folks. That's a quick look at library linked smart objects in Adobe Photoshop CC 2015.